Good morning. Good morning. My name is Dr. Poonaika. What is your name? Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. I heard you were not well this morning. What happened? Uh, I noticed when I was brushing my teeth that I couldn't feel this side of my mouth and face. And um, when I was brushing my teeth, I couldn't really grip the toothbrush very well. Okay. Um, and then when I was going downstairs, I noticed my right leg was giving way. So it was the right hand that was weak and yeah. the right leg yeah, that right was handed. weak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to hear that. I'm going to do a set of assessments on you, Yvonne, just to test your nervous system. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you. What month are we in? November. Good, thank you. And how old are you now, Yvonne? 26. Excellent, thank you. Okay. And can you close your eyes, please? Open them. Excellent. And with the left hand, can you make a grip and release it, please? Thank you. I'm going to test your eyes now. Look at that finger, please, and follow the finger. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to test your vision slightly. Look into my eye, please, Yvonne. What's the finger doing? It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving now. Good. Now look into this eye, please, with your left eye, with your right eye. Thank you. Moving. 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 Good. Thank you. Okay. Now show me your teeth, Yvonne. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Can you squeeze your eyes tightly, as tight as you can? Good. And now raise your eyebrows as much as you can. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to test your limbs now, upper limbs. Can you lift the left arm up, please? Yeah, at that level, and keep it there until I count ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Could you do the same with the right upper limb, please, the right arm? Lift it up to that a bit more, a bit more. Thank you. And can we count ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Can you do the same with the legs, please? The left leg first. A bit more, a bit higher. Yeah. I'll count five this time. One. Two, three, four, five. Thank you. The same with the right leg now. Lift it up to up to that level, please. A bit higher, yeah, good. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. I'm going to test your coordination. Okay. Can you take the left index finger, please. Touch the tip of your nose and now touch the tip of my finger. And again, tip of your nose and tip of my finger. Thank you. Can you do that with the right index finger now? Touch the tip of your nose and touch the tip of my finger. Good. And again, tip of your nose and tip of my finger. Thank you. Okay. We'll do it with the legs now, but this time we'll take the left heel Touch the right knee and take it down the shin. Let's do it once more. Good. Now the right heel, touch the left knee and take it down the shin, please. And once again, please, Yvonne. Okay, thank you.
I'm going to test your sensation now and I'm going to use a pin which has a sharp end and also a blunt end okay and can you close your eyes and tell me if it is a sharp or the blunt end that's stretching you please close your eyes blunt sharp sharp blunt blunt sharp blunt blunt sharp 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 blunt okay that's fine i'm going to do that on the legs now sharp can you close your eyes blunt blunt sharp sharp blunt blunt sharp okay thank you I'm going to put that in the sharp spin good i'm going to test your language now ivon Can you describe to me what is happening, please, there in that picture? Um, we've got a lady doing the dishes, um, but the sink is overflowing. There's water on the floor, um, and then there's a little boy balancing on a stool that looks like it's going to topple over. He's trying to get cookies out of a cupboard, and there's a little girl as well asking for a cookie. Thank you. And can you read that, please, Yvonne? Uh, you know how, down to earth, I got home from work, near the table in the dining room, they heard him speak on the radio last night. Thank you. And would you like to name these objects please? Um, glove, key, cactus, chair, feather and hammock. Thank you. Okay, and can you read that from top to bottom, please? Mama, tip top, 50-50, thanks, Huckleberry, baseball player. Thank you. The last test now. Look straight at me, please, Yvonne. Which hand moved? Both. Both. Good, thank you. I'm going to touch you now and tell me which side I'm touching yeah can you close your eyes please both sides and the shoulders but it was a bit stronger in the, the um my left again both sides but a bit stronger on this side that was on both thighs stronger again on the left and again both sides a bit stronger on the left and that was both feet a bit stronger on the left. Okay, thank you. I will look at your scan and discuss your findings and then come back to you. Okay, okay? thank you. The NIHSS assessment needs to be done as soon as the patient has had their CT scan by the telestroke consultant on call with the help of the local team. The NIHSS is a severity grading scale in stroke that is used universally before and after a patient is thrombolyzed. It helps select patients for thrombolysis as well as monitor the response after. It is important that all clinical staff who are associated with stroke thrombolysis be familiar with the NIHSS assessment as they will be helping the remote consultant perform this assessment. The NIHSS score in this particular example was 4. Most consultants would not consider thrombolysis for a score that is less than 4 and hence 4 would possibly be a borderline score. I would thrombolyze this particular patient at this score 
unless the patient is rapidly improving and hence will end up with an NIHS score of less than 4 within the next few minutes.